lot of guys in that room. Can you tell us about the overall competition between between everybody at the position? Yeah, I mean that position is about flexibility. So uh, you know, they got to block. They got to be effective in the pass game. Uh, got to got to do some uh, pass protection when asked asked to do that. So. Uh, it's all about versatility. Each one of them has their different strengths. So uh, we try to utilize that as much as we can, but at some point they're all going to have to do you know, what, what that position requires. Yeah, Dwayne is obviously missing the start of Kemba. Is it less significant considering he's a veteran who's been around the block, so it's easier for him to catch up? Um, yeah, every year is a new year, and um, we got a new group of guys that everybody's got to kind of mesh with, uh, not just in our room, but mesh with the offensive line, mesh with the quarterback. Um, it's kind of like everybody in camp right now where everybody's trying to – you know, build the chemistry and then build their skill set to be the best they can during the season. So it's early right now, and uh, that's how we're taking it, you know, one day at a time. What skill sets have you seen from Clive Wofford and, and Nick O'Leary and, and Durham Smite that you feel that can help you this season? Yeah, well, they all got, uh, you know, different skill sets to help us out. Uh, they all are actually doing well in the passing game. You know, that's the first, it's the second day of pads, so uh, we'll see eventually where that leads us to. Uh, but through, you know, a few days of OTAs and into these first couple of days of early training camp. It's been mainly a pass game. So um, they all got a certain area that they can help us. Uh, their experience of last year will help out too. So, yeah. Jordan, from there. I'll forget. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to mention to you, I know one thing you told us a couple months ago was you like to maximize players to their strengths in terms of emphasize what they do well in games. Yeah. Obviously, you want to develop them in all areas. Uh, with that in mind, can you hide a player? who's not a good blocker at your position, or is there no way you can realistically continue to get through games with a guy who you don't feel is up to par blocking? Yeah, I mean, at this point in camp, we're really trying to build and then evaluate. So, um, you know, it's the second day of pads. It's a new year. So uh, we're building the techniques from spring without pads and now trying to apply them. And, you know, as we get later on in the spring or into uh, – the end of the preseason, then we start saying, hey, maybe we're better off doing this or that. But um, like I was saying earlier, at some point, you know, everybody's going to be called to pass block. Everybody's going to be called to run a pass route. Everybody's going to be called to, to run. Uh, you know, you build tendencies by just doing one thing. So um, we're not going to do that. And uh, like I said, at some point, they're all going to have to do what's required at the position. And since it's two days in, I guess there's no way of knowing if Gusecki is has improved as a blocker. He's obviously put on weight. Yeah. Well. There's a lot of tape out there. We're blocking, so. Okay, um, and, and it's looked how so far do yeah. you? I mean, through, through two days, days, like I said, we're yeah. still like in the beginning phases. So everybody's done good at some point, poorly at others. I'd say he falls in the same mix as everybody else in that group.